G'day and welcome to Raw Vision, round 24, last game of the season. We've got the great man here, Wayne Campbell. Have a look at him. He's going well, aren't you, What? I'm going okay, mate. Now, we've changed things up since you were last on Raw Vision, Wayne. We've actually got a joke, so I'm going to tell a joke now. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, did you know where I met my girlfriend? No, I didn't know where you I met, met her girlfriend. on a uh, revolving door. Uh -huh. We've been going around ever since. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we'll get into the game. Well, last game of the year, how would you rate the season? Everyone in the media is saying, where are the Tigers at? What's your assessment? Uh, well, clearly not a bad start. Um, wasn't great against... Oh, actually, we weren't bad against Carlton round one, but probably the first, I don't know, seven or eight weeks we were pretty good. We won those yeah. three or four in a row around the Essendon Fremantle. Probably, I don't know, maybe Fremantle was one of our, our better wins over here to win by 50 points against a side that was going... Well, they were yeah. top four side at the time. And then we just fell away for, for five or six weeks after that. And we're, and we're pretty disappointed to lose, you yeah. know, obviously, to Port, who had been down the bottom end of Gold Coast, were the, were the low points, and that sort of culminated in, in that five or six-week period. But yeah. since then, since the probably since the West Coast came, um, we, we lost by nine or ten goals over there, but we yeah. thought we played a better style of footy, and we're getting back to the way we actually wanted to play. And yeah. then subsequently after that, we've, we've done okay. So it's, um, yeah, a tale, a tale of three parts, I suppose. Yeah. Um, disappointing in the middle. Yeah, well, obviously very good... The last three weeks, what's that done, you know, for the confidence in the group, and is that important going into the pre-season to finish the year off as we have? And we've still got one to go. Need to get the job done this week, obviously. Oh, I think it's important. It's probably important going into the pre-season, but it's just important that we we show that we can play some good footy. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's I think you take a little bit into the pre-season, but it's just we know that we can compete at the level when we play the style of footy that we want to play. So yeah. That style may change again next year because it does evolve a little bit. But yeah. um, we, we've just seen that we've got some some pretty good players who can play at the level. Yeah. Uh, need to improve our depth, which we will through the uh, trade period and also the draft. Um, but we know that we're we're thereabouts. Some great signs again in Adelaide, in particular Tyrone Vickery was really good again. Thirty five goals now for the season. How's his improvement been? Yeah, it's been great. It's um, you know just a, as a as a big guy, he was always going to take some time, and I think. Um, I think the club's got to take some credit for, for playing him when when a lot of people were saying we shouldn't have played him and it's, yeah. it's sort of hard with a young guy. Do you, do you play him in the twos or do you play him in the ones and get him exposed sometimes, which mm. which he did. But um, I, I'd like to think we, we did it the right way and he's, you know, he's still got a lot of work to do, clearly, and but he's got a big future ahead of him. But certainly some of the marks that he, he produced last week were just really strong marks yeah. that were, were of a, a really class player. Certainly were. Key forward in the making, no doubt. Now this week, 150th game milestone for Brett Deledio he becomes the youngest in the club's history. It's a pretty good effort. I think he surpasses Matty Knights, and I think I was just before Matty Knights, or was that you? No, that was me. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it was you. I think but there were Brian Wood. I think it was Brian second Wood or third, and someone else. Cloakey? Would Cloakey? Maybe Cloakey, yeah. He would yeah. have been. You, were, you weren't in the top ten. No, I was nowhere to be seen, but maybe KB, even Dar Waitman sitting over there, he might have been yeah. somewhere around. So that's a pretty good achievement. All jokes aside, I know we'll probably have a joke about him, but yeah. be serious just for a couple of seconds if you can. No, he's been fantastic. I mean, yeah. if you think about his, his first season, a lot of people forget that. It's, mm. He was the Norwich or whatever it was back then, yeah, an ab rising, rising star, so. and had a, as good a first year as you can have. Yeah. Sort of, I suppose Dustin did the same last year, wasn't mm. able to win it because of the suspension. But but ever since then, he's been a model of consistency, really, mm. to, to win a couple of BNFs and, and be in the top five, whatever he, whatever he was. Yeah. It's been a fantastic effort, and his form again this year has been outstanding. Yeah. So, he's, um, uh, so he's, he'd be right up there in the BNF again, top, yeah, top he, three? he always is when he, yeah. when he plays, and he, he never misses a beat on the training track. He's the first out there, he's the last to leave. Yeah. Professional, he's a great leader around the club, and his output on, on, on the ground is second to none. Now, it's going to be a bit of an in-joke, because no one at home is going to get the opportunity to see it, but you did stitch him up today with a little highlights package yeah. for his 150. He's known as a bloke that's sort of into himself a little bit, but he's, he has taken himself a little bit seriously in the past, but he's getting over that. So right. we, we teed him up to, uh, or Damien teed it up that we were going to show the highlights package, but then we put together about a minute and a half of his, his bloopers <laughs> over the time. So the boys roared, and it, we think he took it okay. He would we'll, have been a bit flat. We'll hopefully follow it up with the, with the real package with in a couple of days' time. We'll watch that before the game. Mm. Now, Trent Cochin, obviously Chris Newman's been out injured, and his leadership's been outstanding. In the last two or three weeks, would it be fair to say he's probably the best number nine in the history of the club now? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about that, <laughs> Matthew. Well, I'd like to argue with you, but no. I you suppose just, wrote... Justin Pickering, maybe, or, yeah. or Gary Frangalis, but he probably. What did just... Brian Taylor wear at Richmond? Was he nine no, at he Richmond? No, he was nine at Collingwood. Collingwood, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. So, 
other than those two, he's probably got past. No, he's been uh, outstanding ever since. Uh, you like to see that the, the leadership sits comfortably with someone, and yeah. he's, he's gone, his game's gone to a new level since he took over. So uh, Chris has been a bit worried, but yeah, um, yeah I think we might we'll, we'll be able to slip Chris back into there, into there at some stage. He's certainly very good, Trent Koch. And I'll, I'll have you just ahead of him still, Lock. You did a little bit of work in your 298 <laughs> games, but you. I think he might get you in the end. Uh, the changes to the squad this week. Obviously, Kingy has gone out, and he would have been ropeable. Kingy, yeah, with what happened during the week. The way it all came about. I had, to ch I had a chuckle about it, but that's another story. Who we, who's in? Uh, the ins so far. Uh, I'm yeah. just reading off you. Uh, Dean McDonald, Matty D, Matthew White, and Ben Nason. So Dean McDonald, would he be a chance to come in then for out of his first game? That would be his first game. Yeah. He's in the 25. Right. You. you won't give me anything more. No, than I that? can't give you any more than that until tomorrow. Well, hopefully we get a win to finish off the year. It's the Eureka game at Etihad, is it, or the MCG? At Etihad. At Etihad. Twilight game, 4.40. That'll be the end of the year, so it'll be good to go out with a win, and hopefully everyone can get there to watch. Thanks, Walk. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.